All right, I tried to uh, to get this old carburetor working, and it's just been setting up too long, and these gaskets have uh, just pretty much deteriorated. When I took it apart to, to try to get it working, um, it basically needs to be rebuilt. So I've decided uh, not to even try to attempt uh, to fix this carburetor. Uh, seems how this is going to be vapor. What I've decided to do is take the throttle body, which is this portion right here in the bottom. Now, I, true, I could just go right off the top of this, but I, I, I just want to take it to the next level and, and build something myself that will come off this throttle body, because this is what's going to give our power, let, let the vacuum go through the bubbler to um, you know, pull the gas in. So I just I just want to experiment because this wasn't designed for vapor. So um, I just want to take this throttle body, which still has all the adjustments and everything on it for air, um, and then some uh, you know all your intakes for your uh, PVC valve, and then um, whatever that used to go to. I'm not quite sure on this carburetor, but uh, and then the vacuum advance um, definitely have to play with that because that's very important. But uh, but there you go, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this throttle body off and then build something that's going to bolt right down onto the throttle body. Just some kind of snout going up with some piece on it to hook to you know, uh, the bubbler. So uh, just an update. I did get it to run um, by pouring a little bit of gas in it, so the motor does still run. Uh, yeah, it needs to warm up and blow some of the bugs out of it, but... Uh, but I did get it to run, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm having an issue with the starter. The starter uh, is dragging a little bit. Uh, I think it's just an old starter, but uh, I'm not quite sure on that yet. It could be connections, battery. Uh, like I said, I've just I got to keep playing with it. But I was able to fire it up, not for long, just for a few seconds, and then it shut down. But uh, I was happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and work on this carburetor. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Uh, in between the generator, I haven't given, I haven't stopped working on the generator. This is just something. You know, it's Winnebago's got to be on the road, so, um, yep, so there you go, see you all next right, time. we got okay. that uh, carburetor all taken apart, here's uh, what's left of it, parts that we don't need, and this is the, I'm, I'm thinking is going to be the, the most important deal, and that's, uh, let me lay this camera down here for a second so I can show you this, uh, this is what's going to allow the, um, the, allow us to have a, a, a gas pedal, and be able to control the flow of the gas going into the, the motor. The same way the carburetor used to work, but it used to drip a liquid instead of going, you know, um, vapor. So as we step on the gas, it's gonna allow more vacuum to come in through the bubbler, which allow more gas, which will increase the RPM. So same same concept as the, uh, the generator, um, the governor, the governor, when the motor would slow down, it would open itself up to allow more gas in or a vapor in, and then when it speeds up, then it slowly shuts itself back again. Well, same concept here. We just step on the gas pedal to let more air and gas, vapor gas in to increase the horsepower and, and, and make us go faster. So just in a nutshell, um, this is what's important to me right here. So what I'm going to do uh, is build a... Uh, some kind of bracket that's going to fit this and going to be hollowed out in the center here and then you know grind it all down and make it fit and then put some kind of tube on top of it and then just uh, uh, some kind of connection to allow the uh, allow it to hook to a bubbler and ultimately you know I've got to keep the same size of these two ports as an air coming in because that's what the motor was kind of designed for is that much air coming in so I've got to be at least that size maybe a little bit smaller or, a little, or probably a little bit larger rather um, not sure where I'm going with all this yet but uh, like I said before I'm making up this stuff as I go uh, it's just coming from the experience that I've already gotten you know playing with the generator so uh, there you go just an update See you later. hello everyone just want to show you what I got here alright we uh, got that throttle body um, off the bottom of the carburetor and what I plan to do um, this tube here that I smashed and just kind of made it into the shape that you're looking at is basically to, 
to span across those two barrels in that carburetor on that throttle body. So what I'm going to do is uh, take one of these metal plates and shape it to fit the throttle body where I can actually bolt this plate down on to the throttle body. Bolt this, or uh, weld this piece onto there. And then weld another piece on here. You know, grind all that up, clean it up, nice and pretty like. And then take and come off the side right here for um, the uh, intake for the from the bubbler. So it's just uh, to create just a, a little kind of a carburetor that's just gonna pull from the bubbler to get the gas. And then probably along in here somewhere as well, I'll, I'll put uh, you know some kind of pieces in here for you know injecting hydrogen. And what I'm gonna, I, I think what I'm gonna do um, is actually put another piece on here to be able to inject some other kind of gas like uh, propane or you know uh, methane gas or something like that to give me a little bit more power. Um, let's say if I'm going up a hill or something and I need more power. So that's kind of what I'm thinking is just to to have some different choices that if I need more power, let's say I'm on a cruising speed and I, and, I, and I can't get up a certain speed because there's just not enough gas coming out of the, the bubbler. So, you know, between HHO adding a little bit more uh, power to it and then have another option of injecting another type gas, either, like I said, propane or methane or something like that. So that's kind of my thinking on this. Um, uh, all right, well that's about it for now. I just wanted to give everybody an update on where I'm at and, and what I'm thinking with this, uh, this uh, system that I'm putting together now for the Winnebago. All right, see you later.